Steady as you go. Careful. Watch the radio mast. Careful. Fred, give us a hand with this. Bertie was delivering supplies to the Black Rock Lighthouse before the bad winter weather closed in. But the storm had nearly beaten him to it. Right, lower away. Got it. Right. Thanks, mate. Well done. The job done, Budgie turned back towards his base at Harefield Airfield as the controller came through on his radio. Base to Budgie. Base to Budgie. Warning of high winds and snow in the next half hour. Return to base as soon as possible. Base to Budgie. Over. Budgie to base. Hearing you loud and clear. It's bad enough already. On my way home. Over and out. Oh, no. It's snowing. I ate the snow. You're an old softy, Del. You can't call this snow. It's more like icing sugar. Yes, well, I don't want carrying with icing sugar either. I'm a baggage truck, not a Christmas cake. <laughs> oh, hello. Here's Budgie, back from Black Rock. Hey, what are you two doing? We're watching Budgie, Mum. He's just got back. Yeah, and it's starting to snow. Well, come away from there and shut the window. I don't want snow drift in my canteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Budgie, you're dripping cold water on my wing. <laughs> Sorry, it's the snow melting. It's getting really nasty out there. Oh, come on, it's nothing. Where I come from, it gets really cold. Ow! Hey! That's cold! Oh, come on. It's nothing. <laughs> now look here, little guy. Budgie! Budgie! I'm here, Lionel. Gosh, Lionel's in a hurry. What is it, Lionel? We've had an emergency call. Oh. Hey! There's a Mrs. Fairweather. She thinks she's started to have her baby. Oh, gosh. Yes? She lives on a farm right up in the hills, and this blizzard has snowed them in. She can't get to the hospital. Oh, no. Okay, Cap... Uh, Lionel, sir, <laughs> no problem. I'm on my way. No, Chuck, you're not. This is a job for Budgie. But he's only a little guy. I could... There are trees all round the farmhouse. <laughs> There's no space for a big aircraft to land, and Pippa can't land on snow. Budgie's the only one who could do the job. But the weather, Lionel. I know. You don't have to go, Budgie. It's up to you. Of course I'll go. You're taking a risk. I know, but... Better get moving. I don't suppose the baby will wait for me. The wretched thing just won't start, and even if it would, the road's blocked. Helen, you all right? It's not started, has it? I mean... It's all right. It might be another hour yet, or more. An hour? The ambulance can't get here that fast. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. It's no use worrying. Well, I can't help worrying. I mean, what if... Hello? Alan Fairweather. All blocked? Oh, no. What? A, a what? A helicopter? In this weather? Well, yes, well, it had better be quick, that's all. Oh, oh, oh. Helen! Oh, no. Where's that helicopter? Base to Budgie. Base to Budgie. Give your position, please. Over. Budgie to base. I'm not really sure where I am. I can't see a thing in all this snow. Over. Try flying lower. There's a railway line you could follow to Bradley Village. The Fairweather's farm is only a couple of miles from there. Over. OK, base. I'll try and find the line. Over and out. Thank goodness. 
this for the railway line? It's darker than ever here, but at least it's almost stopped snowing. And there's a light. Maybe it's the village. No, it's not the village. Ah! It's a tunnel. It's a train. Phew. That was a mere thing. Okay. Hang on, Mrs. Fairweather. I'll try again. Is there any news, Lionel? Um, not yet. But it's over an hour since we heard from him. The storm's probably upsetting his radio. Budgie will be all right, Pippa. Well, I don't like to say I told you so. Don't say it, then. But if you will send a boy to do a man's work... <laughs> One more word and I'll send you to do a wheelbarrow's work. Uh, oh, right. Come on, Alan, try to relax. Take a deep breath in. And let it out steadily. Blow. That's better. Now you just... Oh. Oh. What am I doing? It's starting, isn't it? The baby's on its way. Alan. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, wh what are we going to do? I, I, I... Wait a minute. That sounded like an engine. Whew. I thought I saw a light then. I hope it's not much further. Hello. What's that noise? It's getting... Whoa! I thought I heard it then. But I can't see a thing in all this. Yes. Y yes, it's here. Phew. This is tricky. Whoops. Trees. Ah. Right. Now. Yes, the helicopter's here, Helen. I'll get your coat and bag. Whew. It's here. Attention all aircraft. Attention all aircraft. Oh, no. Shh. We've just heard that Budgie collected his passenger safely. Oh, good show. Oh, great, great. Well, what do you know? The little guy made it. He's delivered her and her husband to the High Valley Cottage Hospital in time. Whee! Good lad. Mrs. Fairweather's baby is due any time now. More news as we get it. Thank you. Over. Hello. Come in, Lionel. We heard the good news, Budgie. Well done. Thanks, Lionel. Wasn't too bad. I'm setting course for home now, and I should be... Uh-oh. Hello, Budgie. What's the problem? Over. I'm almost out of fuel. I was so busy fighting the blizzard, I forgot to check the gauge. Lionel to Budgie, don't take any chances, Budgie. Find a clear space and get down now. Over. Will do, Lionel. Over. Whoops! Wait! Oh, steady! Steady! Phew! Made it! Budgie to Lionel! OK, Lionel, I'm down. Over. We'll get fuel to you in the morning, Budgie. All right? Yes, fine. I'm on a good flat field. Good show. Oh, Pippa wants a word. I've got some news for you, Budgie. Yes? Mrs. Fairweather's had a baby boy. Oh, great! Yes, isn't it fantastic? They're going to call it Jack. Jack B. Fairweather. And the B's for Budgie. Over and out. Gosh, thanks, Lionel. Uh, over and out. Jack B. Fairweather. Budgie Fairweather. Yes, 